हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ खुशी डी फ्रॉम श्री वेंकटेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग माई यू एस एन इज वन वी ई ट्वेंटी आई एस जीरो वन फोर एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑल्टरनेटिव लाइफ साइकिल मॉडल्स इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू ऑल्टरनेटिव लाइफ साइकिल मॉडल्स इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू वॉट इज ट्रेडिशनल व्यू ऑफ टेस्टिंग लेवल्स The traditional model of software development is the waterfall model which is drawn as a V in in this view information produced in one of the development phases constitutes the basis for test case identification at that level nothing controversial here we certainly would hope that system test cases are somehow correlated with the requirement specification and that unit test cases are derived from the detailed design of the unit two observations there is a clear pre assumption of functional testing here and there is an implied bottom up testing order so in this slide we will be discussing about alternative life cycle models since the early 90s practitioners have devised alternative in response to shortcomings of traditional waterfall model in software development common to all of these alternative is the shift away from functional decomposition to an emphasis on composition decomposition is a perfect fit both to top down progression and uh, waterfall model and to the bottom up testing order one of the major weakness of waterfall development cited is the over reliance on this whole paradigm functional decomposition can only be well done when the system is completely understood and is promotes analysis to the near exclusion of synthesis the result is a very long separation between requirement specification and a completed system During this interval there is no opportunity for feedback from the customer composition on the other hand is closer the way people work start with something known and understood then add it to gradually and maybe remove undesired portions there is a very nice analogy with positive and negative sculpture in negative sculpture work proceeds by removing unwanted material as in the mathematician's view of sculpting a uh, michelogian's david start with a piece of marble and simply chip away all non david positive sculpture is often done with medium like wax the central shape is approximated and then wax is either added or removed until the desired shape is attained think about the consequence of mistake with negative sculpture the whole work must be thrown away and restarted museum in florence italy that contains half a dozen such false stats to david with positive erroneous part is simply removed and replaced the centrality of composition in the alternative model impl implication for integration testing so uh, basically alternative life cycle models in software testing are different approaches or methodologies that organizations can adopt to carry out testing activities throughout the software development life cycle that is nothing but stlc these models provide alternative to the traditional waterfall model and offer flexibility adaptability and improved efficiency in the testing process so in this alternative uh, life cycle models we have many kinds of models uh, the first one which we are going to see is v model so the v model is an extension of the waterfall model that emphasizes testing throughout the entire development life cycle it suggests that testing activities should be aligned with each corresponding phase of development the model takes a verification and validation approach where each phase of development is followed by testing phase for example requirements are validated designs are verified 
and code is tested. The V model ensures early defect detection and promotes better test planning due to its sequential and parallel development and testing activities. So this is the diagram for V model. So it has a developer's life cycle and a tester's life cycle. So in the developer cycle, we will be having the verification phase and in testers life cycle, we will be having the validation phase. So the first phase in the developers life cycle will be requirement specification. So then we have system requirement specification. Then we have I level design. So next we will be having low level design. So then this is nothing but it will go for the coding. From the coding in the uh, testers life cycle, it will be going to unit testing, component testing, system integration testing, acceptance testing. Moving on to the next slide, we have V model examples. In the V model example, each phase of the development life cycle has a corresponding test phase. For example, in the requirement phase, testing, planning and requirement validation are performed. In the design phase, design verification and validation are carried out. In the coding phase, unit testing is conducted and so on. So in this, uh, this whole paragraph is important we, in this paragraph we will be knowing in what phase what kind of testing is done so the v model ensures that testing activities are integrated early in the development process leading to better test planning early defect detection and improved documentation so these are nothing but the advantages of v model so moving on to the next slide, uh, which talks about the agile testing. So our second kind of model, which we are going to talk is agile testing. So the agile testing is closely associated with agile development methodology, which emphasizes iterative and incremental development, collaboration and flexibility. Agile testing focuses on continuous testing and feedback, ensuring that testing activities are integrated into each iteration or sprint. Testers work closely with developers, product owners, and stakeholders to ensure that software meets customer requirements and expectation. Agile testing promotes early defect detection adaptability to changing requirements and continuous improvement through regular retrospectives. So these are some of the advantages of agile testing. So this slide depicts the life cycle of agile testing. So in this we have test planning, daily scrums, test agility review, releases, readiness, impact assessment. So in this a particular phase of test, test planning, we have all parties sit together to prepare testing schedule, processes and expected outcomes. So in this particular phase, we will have agile teams attend everyday meetups to update the current testing status, goals and are set for the next thing. So in this particular uh, phase, we have stakeholders regularly evaluate the creation progress to see if it's going according to plan. Then we have in the next phase, final checkups are conducted to decide whether developed features are ready for release or need to turn back to previous stages. So in the final stage, we'll be having information from stakeholders is assembled as input for subsequent implementation phases. So. Uh, we will be going on to the next slide. So in the slide, we are having the agile testing examples. So in agile testing, testing activities are integrated into each iteration or sprint. For example, uh, in an agile project using Scrum, testing is performed during the sprint as part of the definition of done for each user story. 
Testers work closely with developers and product owners to ensure that user stories meet acceptance criteria and quality standards. Continuous feedback, frequent testing and adaptation to changing requirements are key characteristics of agile testing. So these are like main important or advantages of agile testing. In the next slide, we will be uh, going through about the spiral model. So this is the third kind of model which we are looking. The spiral model is a risk driven and iterative development approach. It combines elements of both waterfall and iterative models. The model emphasizes risk analysis and mitigation, allowing for early identification and management of risks. Each iteration of the spiral model involves planning risk analysis, development and testing. The model enables flexibility and accommodates changes during the development phase process. It is particularly useful for complex projects with certain or evolving requirements as it allows for iterative refinement and adjustments based on feedback and risk assessment. So this is the model which is used for complex projects. So this is the diagram of the spiral model. So we have divided the entire spiral into four parts. That is nothing but this is one, two and this is the third one and this is the fourth one. So in this we have four quadrants like four boxes. So in this first one we have the prototype and risk analysis. The second one we have coding and testing. The third one we have project evaluation and the fourth one we have requirements gathering. So the first box is called as risk analysis and the second one is called engineering, third one is evaluation and fourth one is planning. Moving on to the next slide, we have spiral model examples. The spiral model is suitable for projects with high risk factors or complex requirements that may evolve over time. It enables iterative development and incorporates risk analysis and mitigation through project life cycle. Example, developing a large scale software system for a government agency. The spiral model also uh, allows for early risk identification and management, addressing potential issues and accommodating evolving government regulations. So this is uh, one of the example for spiral model. So in the next uh, slide, we have iterative and incremental model. This is one of uh, the kind of models. So the uh, iterative and incremental model involves delivering software in small increments with each increment building on previous version. It follows an iterative approach where multiple iterations are carried out, each involving the phase of requirement gathering, design, development and testing. Testing is performed incrementally, ensuring that each increment is thoroughly tested before proceeding. This model facilitates frequent customer feedback, continuous improvement and value delivery. So this is the diagram of the incremental uh, model, iterative and incremental model. So we have in the first phase, we have design. In the second phase, we have implement. In the third phase, we have verify. And in the fourth phase, we have evaluate. So this will be done incrementally until the product is satisfied by the consumers or the customers. So it is done in incrementally and iterative approach. 
so some of the examples for incremental model are in the uh, in iterative and incremental models the iterative and incremental model involves delivering software in small increments with each increment building and previous version testing is performed incrementally ensuring that each increment is thoroughly tested before moving on to the next this model promotes frequent customer feedback acceptability changing requirements and continuous improvements so each iteration involves requirement gathering design development and testing so next we have is the devops testing so in the devops testing is aligned with devops approach with focuses on integrating development operations and testing teams to enable faster and more efficient software delivery devops testing emphasizes automation continuous integration and continuous delivery testing activities are integrated into entire software delivery pipeline starting from code commit to deployment and monitoring devops testing ensures reliable and consistent testing particles enabling teams to release software and higher quality and fewer defects so these are the some important and prominent advantages of devops testing so this is the diagram uh, that shows the devops testing so uh, we could see an infinity symbol so each partitioned so here we will be having like deploy and operate so which indicates that continuous deploy deployment like puppet uh, chef ansible uh, salt stack etc so in the next one we have a uh, monitor so continuous monitoring so this indicates continuous monitoring uh, in the next one we have release so in the release continuous integration and then we have test and build together continuous testing and then code and plan we have continuous development like bit bucket git uh, git svn vsts etc and so on so moving on to the next slide we have the um, uh, example of devops testing devops testing is integrated into the entire software delivery pipeline ensuring continuous testing and quality assurance so mainly it is for testing and quality assurance like we have q and a engineering that is nothing but quality assurance engineering so similarly uh, they use devops testing so testing activities are automated and performed throughout the development deployment and monitoring phases test automation continuous integration and continuous delivery are key aspects of devops testing it ensures that uh, software is thoroughly tested reliable and ready for deployment so uh, the conclusion here is alternative life cycle models in software testing offers organizations the flexibility to choose the most suitable approach based on their specific requirements project complexity and team dynamics so these are some of the key points which is required these models promote early defect detection collaboration adaptability to change and continuous improvement leading to higher quality software products it's important for organization to consider the strengths challenges and sustainability of each model in order to optimize their testing processes and deliver successful software projects that's all for today thank you for watching my video please do like share comment and subscribe thank you all